A week after Agnes Calamard and her team of legal and forensic experts visited Istanbul and the Saudi consulate where Jamal Khashoggi was murdered, the UN Special Rapporteur has released her initial findings and they are damning. In a written statement, she says, Evidence collected during my mission to Turkey shows prima facie case that Mr Khashoggi was the victim of a brutal and premeditated killing planned and perpetrated by officials of the state of Saudi Arabia. During the visit to Turkey, Ms Kalamard's team met with key Turkish officials and was played an audio tape which is believed to be a recording of Mr Khashoggi's last minutes alive and of his murder. She says it was gruesome and chilling. Agnes Kalamart undertook this inquiry on her own initiative under her existing mandate to examine cases of extrajudicial executions. Her work continues and she'll report her findings to the UN Human Rights Council in about four months' time. The UN Secretary General has refused to set up his own inquiry into the murder of Mr Khashoggi unless he gets a referral from the Human Rights Council, the Security Council or the UN General Assembly. The initial findings of this investigation are likely to increase pressure here at the UN for tougher action against Saudi Arabia, but the authorities in Riyadh are likely to be more worried about what happens next in Washington. Outside the White House, the campaign group, the Committee to Protect Journalists, held an event to mark the fact that February the 8th is the deadline for President Trump to take action against Saudi Arabia on the Khashoggi case under what's known as the Magnitsky Act. Even if Mr Trump decides not to act, there are many in Congress who've made it quite clear they'll not let this case drop. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.